When you travel United States as a resident of Maine, and someone asks you, where are you from, and you say, Maine, they often reply by saying, oh, I've been to Kennebunkport, or Portland, and by chummy, some have even braved it all the way to Bahaba, yet, without even a hint of stopping at Mammy's in Union for some pie and coffee. Furthermore, Few and far between will say they've been to Wallagrass, Greenville, or Deer Island. Hey, speaking of the island, for those who pass on to Deer Island and find their way to Stonington Harbor, they never leave the same. Just like staring at the vast waters of Moosehead Lake when you rest your eyes upon the gateway to Stonington's Merchants Row Archipelago, why peace to sends as joyfully as an evening of not watching the nightly news. Sandwiched between East Penobscot Bay and Jericho Bay, Stonington is an hour and a half south of Bangor and three hours or 154 miles northeast of Portland. Did you know that Stonington has one of the largest clusters of islands in the country? Now you know. Can't you imagine yourself renting or bringing a kayak and paddling these waters, perhaps even hiking some of those islands. What are you waiting for? You will want to visit Stonington, as it is a multifaceted culture of industry, hospitality, education, transportation, arts, and crafts, undergirded with healing tranquility. From Water's Edge South, you will find stone-cutting granite work, fishing vessels, of all sizes working the perpetually plentiful and renewably yielding oceans. There's transportation vessels bringing their clients safely from point to point, all the while surrounded with the living works of art, such as the bald eagle, osprey, sea ducks, seals, and porpoises sharing this living vastness. From Water's Edge North, there's ice cream, plenty of restaurants and places to lay your head. There are a number of inspiring and intriguing galleries. You will love the ice cream shop, the antique and regional craft shops, Stonington Opera House, then there's the Granite Museum, the popular Haystack School of Crafts, then of course there's always the ice cream shop, and the Historical Society Museum, gift stores, Dave's Guide Service, Sea Kayak, Stonington, Osprey Echo, and don't forget there's always room you guessed it, for ice cream. Time for a confessional. As I write this in my mobile office here in Dyerbrook, Maine, I must confess, eating ice cream last summer in Stonington was nothing like eating ice cream in Wichita Falls, Texas, back in 1979. Why, even the ice cream at R&J's Market in Fort Fairfield can't compare to Stonington ice cream. Hopefully, this video thus far has answered the question, why on earth would I want to go to Stonington, Maine? Well, good for you. However, you may also want to consider visiting Bangor or Freeport. There you go. On the screen, there are links. Lastly, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah.